Representative Scott Tipton tours the rigs in parachute today, showing his support of the natural gas industry. The U.S. Congressman says natural gas is one of the keys to cheaper consumer prices and energy independence. News Channel 5's John Zanidis explains how the visit comes at a time of a heated debate over public health concerns. We've got some great resources. We can develop them responsibly. Representative Scott Tipton trading in his suit for coveralls and a hard hat. We want to make sure that we're developing the resources responsibly. A rig tour to show his support for natural gas development in Colorado. We're creating a policy in this country that uh, we're going to create American energy here at home. Natural gas is just one part of what he calls an all the above approach, an effort to develop any and all energy sources in the country. Be able to get our people back to work and hopefully to be able to ultimately drive down prices for the consumers. It comes at a time when the industry has been the target of heated debate, with public health concerns growing as drilling operations get closer and closer to homes. Part of our mission here today is to go out and see what the industry is doing in terms of those safeguards to be able to protect public health and safety. Tipton is speaking out against what he considers overregulation. We all know we need regulations, but we've seen an overreach. Unnecessary regulations that he says stifle the industry and cost taxpayers. We see right now now in Washington, uh, they have generated legislation that is resulting in one trillion seven hundred and fifty billion dollars worth of regulations. But at the same time, Tipton says a certain level of monitoring and regulation must be maintained. It's been my experience for the most part, and that doesn't mean anything is perfect. Uh, that the industry understands political, economic, social, and environmental ramifications of not doing it right. John Zanitas, News Channel Five. Tipton says one of his main goals in Washington right now is to end what he calls the administration's de facto drilling moratorium and to open up the leasing process.